Yo, everyone, we just have to back again with another edition of the Kickstarter Report. I'm just going to call it the Kickstarter Report for now. I'm hoping to find a better title than what's on Kickstarter, what's on deck, because for some reason my videos have been deemed not advertiser friendly. The, the what's on deck, what's on Kickstarter. I don't know if it's because deck sounds similar to something else. <laughs> I don't know, but, um, or, I really don't know why they consider it not advertiser friendly, but it is what it is. I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not losing, I'm not losing sleep over losing a buck in revenue or whatever it is. Um, I'd be getting on these videos. Anyways, before we move on, as you might know on my channel, Murphy's Magic, my new sponsor. I want to thank you for sponsoring me. Uh, and I'm Looking forward to uh, being involved in this partnership. Now, it's moving on to what's on Kickstarter. Every week I go through all the new stuff on Kickstarter and the other projects that are going on, playing card related projects, and giving my thoughts and opinions on them. Some good, some bad, obviously. So let's check it out. And first of all, and of course, the very first ones are from my old sponsor. <laughs> And first of all, you have the Bicycle Four Seasons, Winter Edition, they say they're limited edition, by collectible cards, and it is funded nine days to go, and they also got the Spring Edition, which they previously did, and did not manage to get too much funding. They've obviously got really low goals, if you look at that, only a couple thousand bucks. 27 days to go, but it is funded. They are, you know, they're nice. I like them. I will definitely check them out later on. Um... I know somebody was commenting to me, or commented, I saw a comment somewhere, might have been on one of my videos, about, you know, having to pay shipping for each one. My suggestion is even wait for them to go on their website and get them all at the same time. That's probably what I'm going to do. Or wait until the last project and you'll probably be able to get all four at the same time. Moving on, we have the Bicycle Ophidian Point Cards from PointCards.net. It is funded, 13 days to go. It's not bad looking. It does look overly similar to the previous project from Safe Sisters, which was the, um, what was it, the Bicycle Mystique? Then we got the Essentia Point Cards by Man Ken Chan. It is 38% funded, 8 days to go. I'm not expecting it to fund at this rate. It's not horrible, it's just not necessarily overly great. Um, I mean, the artwork is fine on the faces, the bat design is fairly standard. It is what it is, though. Like I said, it's not necessarily... It's not a horrible deck, it's just not something that feels Kickstarter-worthy, if you will. Um, then there's Travel Bad Point Guards. By David Taylor, not happening. 0% funded, 4 days to go. It just screams racism, in my opinion. Uh, Git, deck of playing cards. By a very young 25, is funded, 18 days to go. It is a computer programming theme deck, just like the previous deck. And I don't know <laughs> anything about computer programming. Um, so, I'm not interested. I mean... All, all I could do is I remember my first computer, it was nothing like this, there was no Windows, it was a Commodore 64, I remember, you'd be, you'd be able to go, you know, run and type in some stuff and, you know, very basic stuff, and I remember doing that in school a little bit. I was never a big fan of it, no, I was never really good at it. Next, they got the Ragnarok Point Guards by Design Imperator, it is well funded, 24 days to go, and looks very nice. And I'm going to recommend checking it out, of course. My one little thing is that I've noticed that this project was backed by the creator himself, Nikolai, and also backed from another account that he is associated with. And that sounds just a little bit sketchy. And there's no reason for him to be backing it on multiple accounts just to try to get funded or promoted or I don't know, come on, I don't know why they would do that, but, ah, 
I apologize, I'm having all sorts of computer issues today. Try this again. My internet not working as much. Alright, go on. We're connected, so I don't see what the problem is here. Is a Kickstarter issue? Is there something going on in the world of the internet today? Ah, there we go. Uh, and there we go. They're beautiful looking tough cases. Looks like dragons, serpents on them. They are Norse mythology. Lots of foil and embossing on the tuck cases. Solid tuck stocks, whatever that means. <laughs> um, only 300 decks for each one, apparently. Or is that 2300? I'm not sure. This is 2 by 2 300. I don't know. Pretty white Noir Arts with a premium linen finish. Um, very Noir Arts printing is always kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it's not too bad, sometimes it's not so good. The tuck case is always beautiful though, as you can see. Okay, there is 2300. <laughs> That's what I figured, so not super limited, but limited. Nonetheless, nice, interesting bat designs, and of course the face is very nice. Again, very similar to his previous decks, which is getting a little bit tiring because it's just, it looks like the same old, same old is my only criticism. I want to see him do a different style court card. It doesn't have to be like, I mean, it could be this theme or a similar theme to what he's done before, but different style. Like, it, it just seems like it's the same old, same old, basically. Not that there's anything wrong with it. It's nicely done. Beautiful artwork. And again, the aces, uh, not a fan. Um, I want to see pips on the aces. I don't like images on aces it's too much. And then there's a whole bunch of uh, writing on there, which I cannot understand. It looks like gibberish. <laughs> the back design is though very nice. Again, they feel similar to his previous decks, uh, as do the number cards. So if I had a complaint, it just feels. If I had a complaint about this, it just feels like it's more of the same old, same old. And maybe part of it is because it's in the same series. I'm not sure. Um, but I wish they would, you know, change things up just a little bit, at the least. But it is nice, and I do recommend checking it out. Next up, we got our door playing cards by Ian Musgrove. 39% funded, 17 days to go. I have not seen this one, but so far, I'm not liking it. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> um, very neon-y. What is this, 1990s or something? I mean, <laughs> uh, the back design is kind of interesting. The faces, I mean, they're not bad. And they're actually... Allowing people to vote for one of these back designs for the end of the campaign. Okay, as a creator, I think you should go, okay, this is what I'm going to do, this is my design, and stick with it. Not, I don't know, you help me decide. That I don't like an indecision on the part of a creator. They need to be more decisive. Um, personally, I like the one with like three colors more. I don't like the, the two on the left. With just two colors, I mean they're okay, but I think the ones on the right with more colors, particularly the third one, uh, the second one from the right, um, I think seems better with more blue. But I mean, it's a so so bad design. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan of the faces. Um, I'm not even sure what Ardor is. Apparently, he's printing these with A. Mueller, aka Cardamunde, in Switzerland. So, um, he's printing them locally, which is uh, not a bad idea. I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like printing through A. Mueller. Wow. 
To keep the cost of shipping low, there's a chance that if you order a brick, you will get them in shipments of two times six. So two shipments of six, and maybe not on the same day. Uh, yes, because shipping two packages is cheaper than shipping one. Not in my opinion. Well, yeah, that's a pass. <laughs> Twisted Wonderland, Manga Point Guards by Cards and Fusius. This is the relaunch. 43% fun, 10 days to go. Does not look, as, look like it's going to happen again, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yes, the Yoga Inspired Custom Point Guards by Manoz Kasaya. It's 10% fun, 27 days to go. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And that uh, looks pretty interesting. Uh, Twelve thousand dollar Australian gold seems a bit high. Put by expert point cards. Yeah, it really seems high. <laughs> um, interesting top case. Very nice uh, back of the box. I like the the back design on the cards as well, and they look good borderless. I mentioned this one last week on. I was looking at stuff on United Cardist and what's on deck. And Naked Women. <laughs> and uh, it's a, a naked king and he's got he's missing body parts. <laughs> Not that I care. I don't want to see those body parts, but yeah, it's a, a bizarre looking deck. It's an interesting idea. I like the borders on the core cards. I like the back design. Uh, I don't like the core cards too much. I understand it's a yoga theme deck and they're doing yoga poses. But, I don't know. <laughs> Some of these seem uh, kind of sexual <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, I mean, if there was something else... Instead of yoga, instead of the yoga poses, it would be beautiful. Look at this. The aces are beautiful. The back design is nice. The pips are beautiful. And the court cards are... Uh, they're okay, but they're not... They don't really fit the rest of the artwork, in my opinion. Um, but yeah. Cardamancer by Alain Benoit. It is funded. 11 hours to go. Definitely worth checking out. Draconian and Knights... From Randy Butterfield, Midnight Cards is well funded. Nine days to go, also worth checking out. And the Free Stooges playing cards by Chris Chilko, designed by Jackson Robinson, are 20% funded. Eight days to go. They are doing absolutely horrible, as you can see. Uh, well, you can't really see. Just for some reason, this is not loading. <laughs> um. I don't know what's wrong with this damn internet. There you go. We're getting loaded up now. There's the free stooges. So yeah, not doing good at all. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I mean they are they barely scratched the funding and they're doing horrible. And I don't I don't think that Jackson Robinson's been promoting these for some reason. Um Next up, however, we got Top Aces of World War One by Jody Eklund. It is funded, 25 days to go. Definitely recommend checking it out. This is one that I mentioned again as well while doing my What's on Deck last week, I believe. There's a Standard Edition, which is very nice. And of course, very nice art book on the face and the court cards. Nice, classic looking number cards. And then we got the Limited Edition, very nice blue color. On the back design, and again, uh, kind of more of the same on the faces. Printed by Legends, thousand for the limited edition, more obviously for the standard edition. Doesn't actually say how many for the standard edition, or oh, two thousand, two thousand, one thousand. There's also this nice deluxe edition that comes in this. Nice uh, slide out tuck case, but that's the only real difference. Is a different tuck case, and it's going to cost more money. <laughs> um, and there's information here on everyone who's in it, and I will give that information when I get to review in the future. But it's definitely worth checking out. I like his decks, I like historical type decks like this. It's very nice. 
I, I definitely, you know, will check it out. I haven't, I don't think I've had anything bad to say about any of his projects, <laughs> or decks for that matter. Aside from sometimes there's way too many decks, maybe. Um, Vampire Journals Asylum. Poker card deck. Oh yeah, we looked at that last week. It was not great. But it is funded because it only has a $1,000 goal. Or less. With, actually, it's probably a $999 goal. 26 hours to go. yippee yay ki yay And we got the whole nine cards. Punny playing cards, which no reason to stay in. 0% funded. $0. 16 hours to go. By Tom Stone. Probably the biggest failure at playing cards that I've seen because it has zero backers. Former playing cards by TCC Cardistry is funded five days to go. Deck of Many Fables playing cards by Gus Ryber. 29% funded, 26 days to go. Let's have a look. So, we haven't seen this one yet, so I'm curious. And my reaction to it so far is, <coughs> I don't know. Timeless characters from Aesop's Fables, and then countless retellings. Um, not familiar with that off, the, right off the bat. And the court cards are not great. For some reason, the jacks are one way, and it's just animals. And the back design, that's the way. Is that the back design? I hope that's not the back design. So, yeah, uh, more one way court cards. Well, actually, they're not. They're mirror images, but they look almost one way. Actually, maybe they are sort of one way. Those are the colors. Yeah. I am not feeling this one, unfortunately. Is that a rooster? Oh boy. Uh, the diner and the dinner. Uh huh. And yeah. The aces. I do like that. Well, again, I see here. It looks like they gave the spades, the green color, and the clubs a blue color. But then the hearts and the diamonds, they look like they're pretty much the same color. Why wouldn't you just make it four different colors if you're going to do that? Um, it's, I don't know who's producing it. Printer, that is. I don't know what the back design looks like. I don't, is that the back design? No, I can't be. Um, is that the back design on the tuck face? I don't know. Oh. That might be the back design here. But, um, if I'm looking at the video, which I'm not going to do, for potential copyright reasons, um, you know, audio reasons, I don't know. I haven't really seen an image of the back design. It's probably not great. I'm not liking the faces, and it is a pass. And may or may not fun. Riders of the Apocalypse Point Guards Volume 2 by Ace Collectible Guards is well funded. Pretty well funded, anyways. 20 days to go, definitely worth checking out. It's, uh, especially if you took, uh, if you got the first, uh, volume, obviously. Um, then there's Patriot Point Cards by DF13 Skateboards, not doing good at all. 5% funded, 17 days to go. I don't see it happening at this rate. For me personally, I think the back design looks way too similar to the Bicycle US Presence decks. And, I think it's pretty weird that it's so patriotic and American and it's being printed in China by NPC, which is just kind of ridiculous. And, uh, I mean, just printed in the U.S. But there are printers you can use in the U.S. that are not USB-C, that, like Liberty Point Guards, for instance, that would be much more patriotic to use to print these cards. And the goal was also probably way too high. Actually, it is way too high for an NPC deck. And it's also weird that they've been selling three different colors, but they're only selling one. Uh, custom spots, playing cards by Lauren. 14% funded for an hour to go. Not going to happen. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just somebody came up with these back designs that's just pink splattered. 
six or five or six different bat designs and generic faces and that's just not going to do it for me. It does not cut the mustard. <laughs> um, Harmony by Rana Mahmood, 5% fun attendance to it. That's not going to happen. Interlude, a Hannah Fuda card deck. I think I mentioned that one last week. Very nice artwork. I'm not really big into Hannah Fuda decks. I, I got one coming soon. And that's about it. Um, I prefer decks that I'm familiar with that I can actually use this stuff. But I just figured it'd be nice to get one in my collection. So that's why I backed the Hanami Hannah Fuda. This one is nice artwork, but I'm not feeling it too much by Kelly McCurman. 78% funded, 17 days to go. Uh, it should make it. The Operator Deck by Olympus Defense Solutions, 8% funded, 71 hours to go. Another one that's not going to happen. Then we got the Jenkin Deck by Jeffrey Damon. I have not seen this one yet. I don't know. <laughs> it's looking pretty funky from here. 18% funded, 29 days to go. Probably a... Well, it's a fairly low goal. It's $3,000. This is combining paper, rock, scissors. Why would you say rock, paper, scissors? To me, it's paper, rock, scissors. Isn't it paper, rock, scissors? Or am I confused? But rock, paper, scissors. And combining that into playing cards. So they've changed the diamonds into paper. The... I, I guess... <laughs> Basically, they replaced the suits, which is not usually a good thing when it comes to playing cards. You got one that's water, you got one that's scissors, you got one that's paper, and then the green one is supposed to be what? Rock? A frog? It looks like a frog. <laughs> I mean, that's not a rock. It's supposed to be rock, paper, scissors. Where's the rock? I'm confused. <laughs> um. 70 poker sized cards in five suits rock, paper, scissors, water, and lizard. So that's what that is. Lizard, because that makes so much sense with rock, paper, scissors. Why not? <laughs> um, it's already. The whole deck already went downhill as soon as they replaced the suits. Why not add another one for the hell of it? So I see. This one, the spade, is the rock. Rock, paper, scissors, water, and. I will be back. Sorry. I apologize. Back. <laughs> um, it wouldn't be one of my videos. It just wouldn't feel right if I wasn't turning off and up. <laughs> um... I don't know what to say. I mean, that artwork is not bad on the court cards. A little bit bizarre, but not bad. They have come up with a whole bunch of rules, like paper covers rock, rock crushes lizard, lizard drinks water, water rusts scissors, scissors cuts paper, paper absorbs water, water Erodes rock, rock blunt scissors, scissors decapitate lizards, lizards eat paper. So that's kind of interesting. And the back design is, well, it's a one way back design which has that represented on it, but it's kind of interesting that they've, it's pretty, you know, like it's well thought out. And they got rules for some kind of a game they've made out of it. I mean, it could be used as a standard deck. It's a little bit hard to use. Don't know who's producing it. Probably a no-name manufacturer. Uh, 15 bucks for a deck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's okay. It's not something I'm going to get. But the, obviously, there is some interest. And I mean, it's kind of interesting. And I do like each suit having a color and each... I mean, I could see you know, putting use to that, the, the different suits and stuff like that during games, but it's not going to do it for me.
I do like decks that have, you know, five or six suits, but I like it when they, they make sense with the standard suits, the traditional suits, and yeah. Moving on, Classic Horror Deck by Sigil Entertainment Group. I saw this one last week. It is funded, 19 days to go, very low goal. And I was not a fan of the fact that you couldn't actually see the images very clearly because they're so small. Uh, so it's hard to make out actually what the, the court cards are going to look like and stuff like that. I like to be able to see really good what the cards are going to look like. And I don't remember if we can even see a bad design. But to me, that one was a pass. Um, BS Cards. It's a BS project. <laughs> by Bowtie Games. It's 1% funded. 10 days ago. Not going to happen. <laughs> uh, the bat design is horrible. The faces are just standard generic. As you can see. And this joker tells me it's being printed by a really cheap company. Um, I forget the name of the company. Uh, it might be Canadian. I don't recall. I just know that I got a generic decks printed by there, one at least, and it wasn't great. And it's the bad design is just horrible, and why spend your money on a deck like that? If you want to play that game BS, you can obviously just use a regular deck of cards for two bucks. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and... Oh yes, Sun Sue's Deck by D. Rodriguez. It's 20% funded, 29 days to go. And I'm not feeling this one. I saw it briefly the other day. And I think I've actually seen this back design, this deck somewhere. I'm not sure if it was already something that was produced. Or if it's just something that they launched before $10,000 goal, not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. The Art of War. Sun Tzu. Oh, yes, there is an epic rap battle for one. Um, I mean, the faces are okay. It makes no sense, though. Pretend to be weak that he may grow arrogant. What? That makes absolutely no freaking sense. It's about to say something else. It's going to be advertiser friendly. And then I want to get my two bucks. <laughs> if your opponent is of choleric temper, irritate him. What? All warfare is based on deception. True, I guess. Hold out baits to entice the enemy. Okay. Some of these just absolutely make no sense. Uh, it, it's like they were written by Chinese people. Or they were, uh, sorry. Not written by Chinese people, I apologize, I'm not trying to offend anyone. It's like those, uh, it's like when you get something that is translated by Chinese people or Asian people, and it, it just makes no sense. <laughs> and that's what it looks like, it looks like it was translated by somebody who's not English, and it just makes no sense. Some of them does, some of it does, um, it's pretty interesting, I don't really like the lack of pips, and then there's a blank card for the hell of it. The back design is just a bunch of Japanese writing on it. And it looks one way, definitely. I mean, just look at this. Up here on the top, you see something down here? Nothing. And obviously, it's very one way. Court cards, okay. Yeah, I'm just not feeling this one at all. Um, <clears throat> cardistry friendly, yeah, because the back design is borderless. Uh, I don't think cardists would be interested in that in this deck because it lacks color or geometric shapes or anything that pops or anything that's fun. Nobody wants to do cardistry with a deck like this, in my opinion. I think, I mean, I like the inspiration for the deck. I just don't think that it was put together very well and I don't think that it's going to fund at this rate I'm just trying to see something very quickly I apologize 
you know what, screw it. I think I've seen this a stack uh, on somebody's project before, something similar. And I know D. Rodriguez has had other projects and they didn't go so well. I think. Come on. Moving along. Very quickly, let's have a look. More tarot decks. More games. <laughs> Not my present. Everyone's trying to make money off Donald Trump over its food. Whether they like him or they hate him. Uh, the Kingdom of the 14 Ladies by Mikhail Spatola is 61% funded, 18 days to go. Looks like it's gonna fund. It's, I mean, it's okay, but it could be better. Ah, screw this. And again, uh, am I ever gonna get through this damn thing? A cat isn't that. Okay. Can somebody tell me, has there been some major hacking going on with websites? Because this is ridiculous. We talked about these ones. It's fine. We'll go through them again. Okay, this one looks kind of interesting. Space deck. So it's the first rare collectible funding space tourism. Uh that sounds like it's a gay's Kickstarter terms. <laughs> I will say that much. And what is this? That kind of looks like it's a deck end of the trail, but it's a game more than anything. But I'm seeing aces and eights, so we'll have a quick look at that. Quick peek. Yeah, we'll look at a couple more here. First one is End of the Trail. It is funded, 10 days to go. And it does have suits and is a poker deck as you can see. And I think I might have mentioned this one before. But it's a whole game and it's only got one freaking index on the card. So it's very one way, one sided. It also has a one way back design. And it's more a game than anything personally for me. It's not something I want to collect. Um, it's not very usable for anything. And next we got the space deck. They're crowdfunding space tourism. Aha. Ten thousand dollar goal. Uh the artwork looks pretty good. And they are nice usable. And the cards as well. The back design I wanted to say. Apparently, spot UV printing, metallic rose gold ink on the visors, the astronauts, and I mean the the artwork looks nice on the court cards. Interesting top case, nice ace of spades and number cards. Uh, apparently printed by the legends, the diamond cut. Also, space card edition, whatever that means. I like that stratosphere one. And I want to see more of the back design. That back design looks really nice, though. I can actually get behind this one. I actually kind of like this. I'm a little bit concerned that they might be donating money to something, or that it's like a you know, something against Kickstarter rules, but we'll see. The 
They're using a secret brand new parts for the back of the cards to make them unique. Aha! Whatever that the hell that's supposed to mean. Um. Hmm, hello, um. I can get behind that. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's it for this one, though. That's it for Kickstarter. Stay tuned. We'll be looking at other non Kickstarter stuff. There's probably a couple things to talk about, at least there. But yeah, um. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Oh, and I'll see you next time with more.